Bacon for Brain of Wednesdays, yeah. Hi guys, my name is Bacon, and you are watching Bacon's Arena Wednesdays. So basically what we have right here is a deck that I put together as I was just uh, grinding Arena on my own the, the other evening, uh, two or three days ago. And this deck just turned out, obviously it's not the best deck in the world, but it turned out to be probably a really fun deck. That's what I think at least. Obviously, then again, I suck kinda at this game, so I have no idea how this is gonna work out. But if I'm gonna go through the deck um, once and for all before we start playing, this is basically what's in the deck. So we have a rat. Uh, I would say majority of uh, the picks, I'm, or the majority of times I'm picking this card is because I want the removal, which is three damage, or I want the card draw, or both. A six swampus is basically just a good uh, two drop, and it also has uh, a nice battle cry if if we should meet a, a paladin or uh, a warrior or something like that. Fire Dragon, one of the best two drops in this game uh, because you can't delete it with a, or you can't be it can't be targeted with a spell or hero power. Obviously, it says itself. Going on to Iron Beak Owl. We have two Iron Beak Owls and the first one I basically picked to get the silence. The second one I think I picked to have uh, a two drop and a, a second silence. It's, it's never bad. I think I, I, I usually only have one Iron Beak Owl, but I just think I had to pick the second one because it was the best of three picks. Uh, we have a Knife Juggler, also an amazing two drop. We have the uh, Insane Loot Order, which I would say is in one way, it's better than the um, Novice Engineer, now that it's been nerfed to a 1-1 instead of a 1-2, I believe it was before. Uh, or perhaps a 2-1, can't remember. But the drawback on the Loot Order, obviously, is that it has that it is a Death Rattle. So it could be silenced, and... Uh, well, it doesn't really happen that often, but... In case the opponent just decides to play an Iron Beak Owl, Loot Order is not that good. But then again, often they don't silence it, so it's okay. Um, people, though, tend to play around it, so you kind of have to suicide it or, you know, kill off another minion with it. Uh, Mark of Nature, giving a minion either 4 attack or 4 health and taunt. Uh, this is uh, The good thing with this card is it can be used both in, the, in, the, in an aggressive game where you have an advantage, or in uh, a defensive game or a passive game where you perhaps are playing for the bigger cards, which we will be doing in... in with this deck, so I'm probably going to be using the 4 health and taunt uh, most of the times I'm playing this card in this deck. We have Har Harvest Golem, which is a nice 3 drop. Uh, obviously this is basically a 4-4 four, four for free mana, which is really nice. It it's also spread out over, over 2 targets, uh, because they have to first kill this guy and then kill the damage golem. So either this card will draw silence, instead of having that silence put on, let's say, your Iron Bark Protector and breaking the taunt, so that's really really good. And if they don't silence it, well, it's 4-4 four, four for free, so that's really that's a really nice deal. Value, as uh, Trump and other people might have said, or might say. We have the Iron for a Grizzly, uh, just a standard 3-3 three, three for free with taunt. Uh, basically, probably the best pick out of three cards. I, I need some taunt in the beginning of the game, since I'm aiming for the late game, that's where my, my deck is heavy. Didn't get that many um, early game taunts, but but this is one of them. Uh, we have my control tech. Good thing about this card is it could be played as a 3-3, which is nice. It could also be played, uh, as you can see on the battle cry, if your opponent has four minions, then this card is, is really, really, really powerful. Because basically, it removes one of their minions at random, it gives you another minion at random, whichever minion that might be, and you also get a 3-3 out. So it's an insanely good card if your opponent actually has four minions on the board. It's you know, this card could turn around games. I've, I've faced this card and, and lost because of it, or at least got a big disadvantage because of it, so it's it's really good. Uh, it could also be played yet again, as I said, with, with one of the cards before. This could, play, this could be played in a uh, passive game and an aggressive game. It's also good either if you play it early or late game. You could drop it early as a 3-3, or you could drop it late game uh, to, to get use of the battle cry. Um, Bite basically gives my hero 4-4. Um, so it's really nice for finishing off, uh, you know, semi mid range or uh, either mid range unions uh, or uh, minions with full health, uh, or you know bigger minions if you uh, you know trade some minions into it and then do this. So bite is really nice, I think, uh, a nice way to finish off stuff. Uh, we have two cult masters. I think I got two cult masters by mistake, <laughs> but we have an insane amount of card draw in this game with two cult masters. Uh, moving on. Dragonling mechanic. Uh, 
not much to say about this card. It's it's a 4-5 for 4, basically. Um, so, yet again, when it's spread on two targets, I think it's really good because the opponent can only deal with one of the targets, you know, in one way. Or he has to spend several cards dealing with two targets, which is always good for us. Since we only spent one card getting the two targets out. Uh, Senjin Shield Master, obviously one of, or Shield Master, obviously one of the uh, best taunts in the game. Uh, also known as, um, oh, what, what does he say when you play him out? Oh, I, I can't remember what the sound is, but uh, that's the name he's really known for. Maybe the chat knows, because we're also live streaming this recording. So we got two of those, which is really nice. We have uh, two Starfalls, so this is basically my only board clearer, which is kind of not that good. Uh, I, I didn't get, uh, as you can see on my four drops, I did not get any um, swipes, so I'm kind of sad about that. But I think Starfall is really good because it could e either be used as a 5 damage to a minion or 2 damage to all enemy minions. So I think Starfall is really nice. And having 2 is, is always nice. I would have preferred 3 or perhaps even 4. Taz Dingo, right, so thanks to uh, Bingo lot from the chat. Uh, Senjin Shield Master is uh, also known as Taz Dingo. That is true. Uh, we have one Dark Scale Healer. Uh, basically a decent uh, decent card doing the like a vanilla test. It's a 4-5 or 5, 5, which is not the best. But uh, if you get the Battle Cry, it's really, really, really nice. And if you have a lot of other minions on the board, this card could be a game changer. Uh, since it's healing all characters. It also heals... Uh, me or the the hero the portrait uh, Druid of the claw so uh, yet another card which where you can choose if you want to play it passively or aggressively Giving it either charge or two health and taunt or two extra health and taunt Probably gonna use this with the taunt uh, to yet again get to the late game We have a lot of late game here. So this is kind of the mid to late game I'd say we have a frostwolf warlord. We have the silverhand knight basically a six six for five Also very good yet again two different targets one card probably make your opponent spend uh, at least obviously one but often two cards so this is often a, a, a two for one that's nice you want to aim for two for ones yeah, that's because that adds value of course we have the adventure commerce and i really like this card it, basically this card makes the opponent he has to deal with this card if you can get a adventure commerce scenario out on turn five that is insane or even coin it out on turn four that is really 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 good because most of the times they can't deal with this guy and if they can't deal with this guy if you just get a two for one with this guy he's amazing the value is insane and when they deal with him um the spell of power he has that my other minions are expensive is gonna be gone it doesn't even matter that my other minions are expensive because we have some spells some you know some other good stuff we can do we have a hero power and so venture commercial really really nice and often it makes the enemy do like a bad trade, trading two minions into this guy, or maybe even three minions into this guy, if you get him out really early, because they just have to get rid of him, because he has seven damage. Um, we have, oh, yeah, we have a Starfire, Starfire, so that's a removal, I guess, it's not a board clear, but a removal and also a draw card. Not that we really need more draw card, but we do have it. So we have the Starfire, we have the two Cult Masters, and we have the Loot Hoarder for, st for uh, draw card. We also have up, 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 uh, something else. We have the rat, right? And here comes the good stuff. So we have one storming champion. We have three iron bark protectors. This card is very, very good. It's one of the best, I think, druid class cards. I would have preferred to have one less protector and have like an ancient of war or an ancient of lore because they are also insane. But but I'm very happy with three protectors. And last but not least, <laughs> we have the rag. The Raj Narochings in Arena, so I'm super stoked for Rag in Arena, and uh, yeah, that's that. So, as you can see, the curve is okay, uh, it's not super good, but it's okay. On two drop front, uh, on the two drop part, rather, we want to have seven guys, really, I think we have one, two, three, four, five, six, so we have six guys, which is okay. Let's get down and dirty. We're not going to be able to finish this arena tonight because I'm recording this on a weekday. Just because I was so stoked about playing this game. I've been thinking about playing this uh, or playing this deck. I've been thinking about playing this deck for like two or three days since I first drafted it. So I'm super stoked about playing this tonight. And we'll see, see how it works out. Hopefully this deck is all that my sucky spirits need to win a game. Or... 
as every time when you dropped a good deck, you just straight out lose like three times in a row. Okay, <laughs> so we're dropping 90% uh, of our super awesome cards that make this deck. I'm gonna keep the... Do we want to keep the Cult Master? I think so, because then we can draw into the Iron Bark dudes and stuff. So I'll try keeping him. We'll see how that works out. We got the Knife Juggler, which is a very good card to start out with. Like, yeah, coining a Knife Juggler, it's, that's amazing. That's really good. We should always greet our opponent, or our opponent, I mean. So what do you guys think about me buying Goat Simulator? Are you stoked to see videos on Goat Simulator and, and some... Uh, and some... Uh, um, some live streams on Goat Simulator. Sorry, I'm thinking of different things at the same time here. Okay, so <laughs> we got an Iron, an Iron Bark one back again. I don't want to trade this guy if I can avoid it, but I think I have to trade him. No, I don't have to trade him. I actually have to go there. Can I summon something? If I can juggle this... No, never mind. I still can't do my hero power because I only have two mana. So I'll do this. He's going to be inclined to trade with my... Uh, he's going to want to trade with my Knife Juggler. This card is like twice as good as this card. So he's definitely going to trade. So I basically I get a 2 for 1 with the Knife Juggler anyway. I would have liked to juggle some more though. Nature, Nature will rise against you. Bacon, how, how come you aren't watching the hockey? Well, basically, oh, hockey is cool, I guess. It's, it's definitely the best out of the real-life sports, but I prefer esports, guys, and I prefer Hearthstone uh, over hockey any day in the week, so I'm not that interested. I, I think if Sweden win, I'll probably hear about it, and if Sweden lose, I'll probably hear about it as well tomorrow at work, because we have a lot of sport enthusiasts in my job or at my workplace. We're like, you know, 100 employees, and there's like 4 girls and 96 guys, so... I think I'll hear about the hockey results anyway. Okay, that guy is pretty good, I guess. A 3-3 for free if you have the normal rogue weapon. That's not that good. This guy becomes really, really good if you have, like, a warrior weapon or, well, some other cool weapon, basically. When he could be free of charge or, or, or something similar. Uh, do I want to use the rat here or do I want to draw a card? I think I want to do the Sengen Shield Master. Taj Dingo. Oh my god, I'm so stoked to see if I can get to the late game with this deck. I think I think I have high chances of going far. It feels like it. Oh, I just want to draw Ragnaros in Arena and see the look of their face. Obviously I can't see the look on their face, but uh, you know what I mean, guys. Yeah, so Balan's writing in chat right now something that I've obviously already been thinking about because I'm way ahead of you guys, uh, which is to upload a video on Goat Simulator as soon as I get it and uh, in order to increase my YouTube channel. And of course, that is my goal, definitely, for, for sure, 100% that is my goal. Um, uh, my ambition is definitely to, uh, to put up an, an early Goat Simulator game or video. Hmm, so here, this is kind of tricky. Do we want to do... Yeah, this is what we want to do. I think. Um, I was thinking of putting out another Senjin, but this won't trade well. And um, if I put out the cult and I traded this, I would get one draw. Then basically he would kill the cult, I think. So that's not very good use of that guy. But now he's going to be inclined to want to kill this. I'm not going to trade into that. So yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, so one guy is saying my stream has to buffer all the time. That is kind of weird. If I'm looking at my live stream footage OBS uh, open broadcast software thingy, which is the latest version, all that good stuff, it's it's green. It's green across all borders, and the stream configuration quality is nice. Okay, so we are facing. Okay, so he did. Uh, we could knife. Now he's. Uh, trading that? No, he's going for the face. Okay, so this, my friends, are is very good. Um, now, do we want to do Wrath? Yeah, one damage draw a card. 
definitely doing that on this guy. And uh, then we are... This guy will still be not be able to kill this after I kill this. So this is gonna be, as we said before, a two for one. Guaranteed. Oh the wall! Oh the wall! So either he takes me with the face and takes seven damage, which, which would be amazing for me. Or he goes with this guy into this guy. He could buff this guy though, perhaps. Or he could use, he can't use backstab because I'm already damaged. So he could use, um, he could use, no he can't because he has too little mana right now. Oh, so he, he's pretty much giving me a Fang Creeper as well, I'm, I guess. Or he's gonna use, no. He should have done, if he could have done something about this guy, he should have done it already. Oh, he's gonna take this back and put it out again because it's gonna be two mana cheaper and it's only two mana. Yeah, you can do that, that's okay. But basically I got, he's basically giving me a Fang Creeper to not take the damage to his face. Being polite and saying sorry about that, mister. Yeah, I'm getting loads of amazing tips from the chat right now regarding Goat Simulator. And uh, I totally agree with you guys. Uh, I'm definitely... Uh, I'm definitely going to aim to do this as, as good as possible. So, we can't put out the Iron Bark just yet because he's an 8 mana card. We could do the Senjin, which would trade amazing with both of those guys because they have 4 damage and he has 5 health. So I think I'm going to do the Senjin and then I'm going to do the uh, Harvest Golem. Um, so I'm definitely, I'm doing the video as soon as I get the game. I'm going to get the game 3 days ahead of everybody else since we pre-ordered it. So as soon as I, I know I'm going to get the game, I'm definitely, as soon as I have a launch date, I'm going to take that day off from work, I swear to God. And I'm going to stream that entire day, no matter what day in the week it is. And we're going to record everything. Uh, it's going to be an English stream and uh, we're going to do loads of videos and then upload it. Okay, so now he's going to be able to trade both of these guys into this card. And this guy as well, so amazing trade for me. Basically, I'd say it's, it's two cards for one, but almost three. I'll count less three just because I can. So we are definitely in value town right now because we have six cards on hand plus two on the board. He has three plus one. Four cards, eight cards. And one of those is an 8-8 eight, eight, and the other one is a Harvest Golem. And he's at 21 health and we're at 26. So we're in an amazing place right now. And I'm very stoked for this Bacon's Arena Wednesday episode as you guys can hear. So uh, our lovely viewer Meat Penguin is getting away from Telia, which is one of the uh, internet carriers in Sweden. And he's getting fiber connection, yeah baby. What? He has Ragnaros? The fucking fuck? Please not go for that. Okay, okay, okay. I would have wanted him to get the Harvest Golem. Okay, so I'm definitely silencing that guy. Or am I? Wait, 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 wait. I need to think now. I have no removal for Rag. I need to silence Ragnaros. Oh my god. How likely is it for me to meet another guy with Raj? Uh, I just, I don't want to put out everything. I want to keep this guy here. Basically... I'd have to trade this guy into Rag. But since I have a taunt, I don't need to do that. I honestly don't think I need to do that. I'm gonna go for face here. Because I'm definitely in the lead, so I'm going for face here. Because I have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage, and he has 10 HP. And he has to trade the Rag into this, basically. <laughs> it's like, what? He has Ragnaros, what the fuck? Okay, he could do that as well, I guess. It's okay. Please, please, God, let Ragnaros hit one of these guys. One of these guys, please. Oh, no, you're right, never mind, I silenced it. Yes! Whew, I forgot that I silenced Rag. Okay, 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 okay. We need to think now, so I have two, three, 
five. Wait, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine damage. Damn it! So I can't kill him right now. Um, boop, 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 boop. so I want to do the grizzly. Thinking here, grizzly. Want to trade? Hmm. Two damage to everything is probably a good idea here. It's gonna give me a better trade scenario, I guess. He's gonna go away, and sh she'd trade with one of my minions. And I'll get to keep the other one of my minions. He's not gonna die, which is not very good, but he's gonna die in this trade, so that's nice. I'll put out the... No, I actually don't need to, I'll do this instead. Oh the wild! Ragnaros, you bastard, Nefarian! How likely is that even to happen? But okay. We dealt with it like a boss would have dealt with Ragnaros. Oh god, this is still kind of tense. I mean, we're facing a rogue. He only has two cards though. Um, but he has ten mana, so, uh, you know, anything can happen. Yeah, nice. The best possible trade for us. Vanish. Okay, that's that's interesting, I guess. This guy will. So he's eviscerating com doing an eviscerate combo. Basically, I don't, I can't see how he's gonna be able to win this game, but it could happen. Stated before. Please let me draw Raj. Oh yes, we draw the Iron Bark. So this is very nice for us. Uh, this means basically he won't be able to attack us, which is pretty freaking sweet. And we'll do the Fire Dragon on this one, and we'll do end turn. And he's like, what? Another Iron Bark? How is it impossible? How is it amazing? He's probably not gonna say, how is it impossible? Because he top decked a freaking assassinate. Oh my god, this guy. This guy, right? I top decked the Iron Bark though. Uh, okay, so all of my Cult Masters is not doing that much right now. So I guess I'll drop this and this. Yeah, I I mean, he's going to have to be insanely freaking lucky to win this game. <laughs> but you never know. Anything can happen in this game. I mean, I definitely don't think I won yet. It's highly likely that I will win, but I'm not sure. See? Anything can happen in this goddamn game. I'll just put out the last iron bark because I can. <laughs> BM finish like a bacon. Yeah. Okay, so we're off to a flying start. Oh, win two games with Druid or Hunter. Epic. I actually finished uh, two of the quests I had for today while I was at work on my lunch break. So I was playing some mage, some mage Ringo. Elfurian versus Jaina. You asked for it. I must protect the wild. <clears throat> okay. Don't need Starfire right now. Too expensive. Same with Starfall. Bite no. Or should we save Starfall? It's a five drop. Well, Starfall is really, really good if he gets a flying start here, and we're facing a mage. This could be good against. You know, mana worm that gets out of control. But it's a five mana drop. Hmm. I'll say bite instead, I think. This could be good though if he has like mirror images and shit. Wow. I don't know if you should ever save a five drop. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll save it. I'll, I'll, I'll wing it. I'll save it. We'll see if it's... Yeah, we'll see what happens. We got the loot order for a uh, second turn play, so that's really good. My greetings. My greetings. And we have Harvest Golem for turn three, so we have a really nice start in anyway. And we have the Sendian. This is basically... These three cards are amazing, and then we have the turn five play. So this is a very nice start, hand, I would say. It's an amazingly good start hand. And we have Raj awaiting a later turn play. So I think we are off to a flying start. Which is nice. And I just love saying we're off to a flying start, as you guys can hear. 
and he trades that, which is also amazing because that gave me a card draw, and he clearly didn't realize that. Or he just wanted to give me cards because he thinks I'm cute or something, I don't know. This guy is crazy. Mm-hmm. This is always dangerous. You don't want to have random plus spell damage on the board. Um, do I want to do two? I have to do that. That's not good. That's not good. Because I want to save this for the draw card at this point, I think. I'll use Senjin here. And um, I'll trade. I'll double trade this. Hopefully. So I'll kill him off next time. Hopefully he won't be able to... See, he only has 4 mana. Hopefully he won't be able to use the plus 1 spell damage. It's unlikely that he's going to be able to use that now. It's a little bit too early. But you just never want mages to have plus spell damage cards on the board, I think. Because that could go, could go out of control so fast. Okay, so he's doing the free soul minions dude thingy. So there we go. Uh, hopefully... Oh my god, that's so, so unlucky. Got the golem two times, but it's okay. Because it unfreezed it, and I can now hit it uh, twice. So I'm gonna go for a thank you there. Thanks, bro. Uh, I thought it was unlucky, but then again, when we think, it was actually kind of lucky. And I'm just a bad player who didn't really see that coming. Uh, don't want to go for this. It's just a 5-5. Five five. Or do we want to go for a 5-5 five five right now? Do we want to add up the freaking pressure? He couldn't kill this with a flame strike if it's a 5-5. Five five. Um, Starfall doesn't seem like a good play right now. Dude, this is not a good play. Brat is not a good play. So yeah, I think the Frostwolf is the best play right now, even if it's a 5-5. 5-5 five five. Five five is kind of threatening though. And if he uses like a Polymorph on this guy, which he could, he's using Leroy. Okay, that's that's interesting, I must say. How is that gonna work? Because I have a taunt, bro! Ha ha ha! Did not see that one coming, huh? Did you? He was he wanted to go for my face. Ah uh, well, I don't think that was a good Leroy, honestly. Um Okay, uh trying to look at the chat and play at the same time. Really never works out. Um I'm gonna go with oh, what do I wanna do here? Should I do Rat? And fair, I'll, I'll do fairy dragon. Do do I? Should I? Want I? Do do I? Yes, no, yes. I'll do fairy dragon. I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna float two mana here, because I want to save this as a removal together with this, so that we can come to the late game and use both of these guys. It's only two rounds left, but I want to play it safe. Instead of just doing this to his face right now, I'd rather do this to his face later. I think we're in an advantage here because we have 5 cards plus 2, which equals to 7, if you guys know how to count. And he's at 5 cards using a charge, so that's nice. He's also wasting the Divine Shield for my mini guy to, to take out, so I think that's kind of good. What we could do, instead of change... I'm, I'm actually, I actually think this is better. So I'll... 1, 2, yeah, that's what I'll do. I think this is uh, the better play, actually. Because it saves me the minion. Uh, and I also get a card drop. Uh, now we have 7 cards to 4. That's really good. Uh, Mark of Nature. Do I want to give this guy taunt? Hell yeah I want to give that guy taunt. Can I? Oh no I can't because it's a fair dragon. Never mind. Never mind guys. You never heard me say that. You didn't hear me say anything. Jedi powers always work. Um, Basically, I cannot see a situation where mind control tech would come into play better than here, so I'm going to play it as a 3-3 based on where I am right now. It's better like learning out a flame strike or something, or you know, perhaps, I don't know, yeah, a flame strike, I guess, or, or a um, blizzard, um, than, than, doing, than saving this guy for later. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, so uh, do we want to put out the iron bark or do we want to put out the, f the Raj? I want to do the Raj, but I'm going to play it safe and start out with using uh, the iron bark here. Or I'll taunt this guy 
So he'll be a 3-7. Se and I'll finish this guy off. Uh, I think that's a good play. I think that's a good play. You're playing Arena? Yeah, Movies! That's right, I'm playing Arena! I drafted the most insane Druid deck ever. Okay, it's not the most insane deck ever, but it's a cool Druid deck, and we have freaking Ragnaros, and we have three Iron Rock Protectors, so I'm happy. Okay, so if he uses a Fireball on one of my minions, which was originally a 3-3, we are doing really, really good, guys. We are doing really, really good, because now comes the big guys. He hasn't even seen the big guys yet. Oh my god, I, just, I so want to knife juggle. Seven, two, seven, eight, nine. Should I knife juggle Stormwind? I like, I want to save these guys as long as livingly possible. So I'm just gonna be a fucking baller and knife juggle Stormwind. Yeah, I think that's really good. I want to use these guys, but I want to save them as long as possible and like lure it out any, any possibilities of polymorphs or whatever you could have as long as possible. So that's, yeah. Hey McLuder, nice seeing you man. I'm uh, very good, thank you. How are you doing, mister? Okay, so he freezes this guy. I'm pretty fine by that. And he pings this guy for some random ass weird reason. So maybe he's gearing up for a blizzard right now. I don't really mind, I don't really mind. You know what, you know what guys? I think it's freaking, okay. Oh, I, sh I should play, I should play the Iron Vark. I should play the Iron Vark. I wanna play Raj. But I also want to misplay this now. I, I want to learn how to play better, actually. So, um, but uh, if he if he doesn't like, I don't know, suicide now. Uh, I'll do Raj next turn. I promise you guys. I promise you. Uh, Raj, Marosh. So we got all of my uh, old in real life friends uh, in the channel right now, which is pretty nice. Okay, so we have a taunt. Wow, he is, he's gearing up. He's gearing up badass style. Yeah, you won't be able to attack me to the face, bro, because I have a 9-9 taunt. Please don't concede. Please don't concede. Ah, oh, damn it. Ragnaros, when will we be able to play you? Druid victory. Sweet. Getting some golds. Getting some golds in. Um, so that was it for the first part of the Arena Wednesdays with the Druid deck. The Druid deck of Doom. DDD. The three Ds. That's what we're gonna name the video. Um, or maybe something with Ragnaros. Gets more views. Uh, so that's it for the first part. Tune in for next part. Uh, and uh, well, stay safe. Peace to Fudge out. Come along.